Hi, I'm Josie Marin. We're on the set of Need for Speed Most Wanted. Hello everyone and welcome back, I'm Thrilled with Boost and today we will take a look at Need for Speed Most Wanted Black Edition and all of its exclusive content. So for those of you who don't know what Need for Speed Most Wanted Black Edition is, the Black Edition is a special collector's edition of Need for Speed Most Wanted, released in celebration of the 10th anniversary of the Need for Speed series. The Black Edition features additional events, bonus cars, 3 bonus vinyls and special challenge series event. It also comes included with a special feature DVD which you are seeing right now that contains interviews and videos relating to the development of the game. It was made available for the PC, PlayStation 2 and Xbox releases in North America but was only made available for the PS2 releases in Europe. First, let's go through the exclusive cars. Note that these cars are only available in custom races and cannot be driven in free roam. Starting off with two exclusive stock bonus cars. First, we've got BMW M3 GTR Road Edition, which is pretty much the same as the one you get after beating Razor. And the second stock exclusive car is Chevrolet Camaro SS. And as you can see from the performance stats, this car is just ridiculously slow. Going on, we have 8 exclusive tuned bonus cars. First one being Chevrolet Corvette C6, which you already get with a regular edition, only difference is that this one is already tuned. Then we've got Chevrolet Corvette C6R. This car is probably one of the best cars in the game, not only visually the best, but performance wise as well. Then we have Lotus Elise, once again a car you can buy from a car shop, the only difference is again that this one is already tuned. Next we have two Mercedes Benzes, SL65 AMG which handles awful and SL500 which handles even more awful. Moving on we've got two Porsches, 911 Carrera S which is pretty fast but this car is already available with the standard edition and the next one is 911 GT2. This one is completely new to the game. And the last one is Toyota Supra. Again, nothing special about this car. It's not really an exclusive option because Supra is already available in standard edition. Next exclusive content is an exclusive challenge series event, event 70. This is the only challenge series event where the player can reach hit level 7 and it's described as the most difficult challenge in the series. Well, at least that's how developers described it. Last but not the least, we received three additional racing events. First one is City Parameter. Then second one is NFS World Loop, which takes you around the whole map, so then the hackers can compete who will set the world record. And the last one is Seaside and Power Station, which takes you all along the coast, and it's pretty cool. To finish off exclusive content, we've got a special Black Edition DVD on which was cinematics with Josie Marin and other exclusive in-game development sneak peeks which I'm showing to you right now. So yeah, my personal opinion, if it was worth getting Black Edition over a standard one, I don't think it was. One thing which doesn't make sense to me is why they added exclusive cars only to custom races and not to free roam as well, which would be much better. But that's just my opinion. Tell me yours down in the comments below, because I would really like to see them all. And that's all for today, hope you enjoyed, have a wonderful day and don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you guys next time.